Hey, what's up everyone? So um, yeah, welcome back to this brand new video in where we are going on an epic journey. That's right, through time and space to change the course of history. I hope you are ready. I know, right? This is going to be such a blast. And the game is called Wanderer, by the way, and it's a puzzle adventure title that combines a unique blend of escape room style gameplay with the magic of time travel. So in Wanderer, you play as Asher Newman, a woman who's looking for her grandfather's lost apartment and the mysterious artifacts that are hidden within. So from there, you will be sucked into an amazing time travel adventure you have never experienced before. So quick heads up, this video has been sponsored by M-Theory and uh, Oddboy. I want to thank them so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And uh, funny enough, they uh, reached out to me asking if I wanted to do a first look of Wanderer, but I was already working on the video. So this was a win-win for everyone. What a funny coincidence. So with that being said, Wanderer is now available on the Steam, the Oculus PC and the PlayStation Store. Go check it out. The links are in the description below. And now it's time to jump into the metaverse and travel through space and time. Let's go. Stage two, iris recognition active. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Two, I'll miss you. Paul McCartney, lead singer of the wow. Steelers. Just wow. This is such a cool looking apartment, yo. Stand and unfold yourself. Huh? Why is it so dark in here? Who's that? Why can't I feel my damn protuberance? Who's talking? Am I? Could I be? I'm so confused. Buried alive. This is kind of oh, spooky. Oh, what a fate to befall a man. I'm gonna lie. Just like the Edgar Allan Poe tale. His prose was unreadable. Hell! Where? Where are you? I'm in this confounded box. Oh, Follow this? my voice. This right here? You kidding me? Hey! Uh, well, uh, <laughs> hello. Uh, uh, do I know you? Which? Oh, uh, you'd be. Uh, you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm normally the picture of lucidity. Oh. This may come across a lick familiar, but try putting me on your wrist. I do trust you, so let's... Put it on my wrist. Ah, that's more like it. Now, Asher, is it? Yeah. Your grandfather left me. me here for you. To be your confidant of sorts. My name is Samuel. Samuel, uh... Just call me Sam. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sam. I can tell Sam. by the blank look on your face you've got questions. I do. Well, you can start with tapping my face. Tapping your face? I hope it doesn't hurt. Now, as you can see, I'm no ordinary fob watch or Ooh. time trinket. My maker has endowed me with the ability to read between the lines, my friend. And the lines being time and space. You following? Now, for me to become your pack mule, you'll need to upgrade my clockwork. Though, exactly how eludes me. Unfortunately, my mind, like that box I was in, is a bit dusty. But I have a feeling our union is fate. Now, Whoa. let's see. Oh, jeez, what happened? Time has been cruel to this place. A modern electrified abode. Huh. Long for long. I wonder if we can get this place humming once more. Or at least get them lights on. Let's take a look around. Sounds like a plan. Tap the button just below my face, will you? <laughs> I'll show you a pilot trick. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> you can fly? <laughs> the sacrifices I make. <laughs> oh, that's genius. Now, if you ever lost a stock, just push that button and I'll do my best to offer you counsel. What? All right. If you could kindly place me back on your wrist. That's an awesome feature. <laughs> Never seen that before. And you can time travel too, so this is going to be such an adventure. Twist and push. Ta-da! 
Looks like you've connected up this contraption. What an ordeal. We're back online, baby. So what's the plan, uh, Sherlock? He does kind of look like Sherlock. <laughs> Ooh. Was that a television I heard? Perhaps there's something we're meant to play on it. For a moment I was like, what is a television again? <laughs> well, kid, if you're watching this, then you made it. Oh, this far, at least. And what I'm about to tell you might seem crazy, but it's important that you understand what's about to happen next. This world you know, battered and broken, is... It's not the world that was intended. I have left you everything you need to put things right. But be careful. Not all is what it seems. You must finish what I could not. Trust the Watch. Find his counterpart. Wait, isn't that the desk behind me? It is. <laughs> the old fool. Always was one for dramatic exits. Careful now, kid. You follow down his path and well, there's no coming back. House rules. Once the cards are cut, there will be no leaving the table. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Who the hell was that second fella? A coot and a jossa, I say. The cat to your grandfather's mouse. And I suppose we're now part of his, uh, <clears throat> pest problem. Alice Comet. What is that? Oh, well, well. Someone went to great lengths to keep this treasure hidden. Wait a second. Your grandfather certainly left this here for a reason. You fit in there. Here. Intriguing. This contraption is some kind of encoding machine. Your grandfather clearly intended for us to utilize this thing. But we might have to circle back on this one. Huh. A battery. Might be important. It could be. Interesting. I'm guessing this is important. I know you ain't the help, son, but could you clean that picture off? It might reveal to us something about this counterpart we're looking for. Oh! Cosmonaut Alexei Leonov. A Russian? First man on the moon. And the date, it's circled. 1968. Well, that doesn't seem right. Okay, so that cosmonaut must be related to something. Anything around here scream Russians in space? Well, right behind you, there's a, a poster. Huh, an old ventilation duct. No lack of fresh air in here, though. Well, there's... There's something behind it. <laughs> now that's a thing of beauty. Shame. Just needs a battery. Eureka. Oh. I think it's empty. So, give me a moment to figure this out. Star Beamer, bring the constellations to your bedroom. Oh, I got one of those. Talk about staring off into space. Now, hold on. That clue and those star beamers must be related to that locked door, right? Gotta connect the dots. Ah, oh, gotta connect the dots. Star beamers? It looks like some kind of childish toy to me. But bless my stars. What is the meaning of all these constellations? Wow. And there sure are a lot of them. So let me, uh, try this. I'm gonna match it with the pattern that I got on the, on the right. Swipe code phase one accepted. Oh. Shout out to the person who did the sound design for this game because it sounds just great, it's orgasmic. Especially when you use use this way. So I'm gonna Is that it? Access granted. Woo! And remember, Boop. I know nothing with any certainty, 
but the sight of the stars makes me dream. Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what a strange closet. <coughs> oh, you smoke? <laughs> no, no, I don't. This apparatus and I have history. It may not be the item you your grandpa told us to find, but it certainly has some part to play on this gala night. I think I'm the missing component here. Oh. Try putting me into the device. There you go, I'll good sir. <laughs> I used to say the two most important days in your life are the day you were born Ooh, la, and the la. day you find out why. Well, I like to add a third. Research the day you time. realize you have a machine specifically made to upgrade you. Upgrade storage? <laughs> you want me to tap on that? Oh, so this allows you to get more slots in your inventory. So you can carry more items. Required energy, five. Ah, so that's why we're, you know, constantly collecting those. The more the merrier. Upgrade slot two. Okay, so we gotta... Get the ball to the other side. Careful. Slow but steady. Woo! Well, pin my tail and call me a donkey. I'm pleased to say I can now carry two items for you. Okay, back to business. I'm going to charge the... And just like that, presto! Oh, that's fast. We are living in the future. That's the ticket. When the music starts to play, you know you're onto something. Easy does it. Almost there. You got it. Time to get a handle on things, I suppose. <laughs> get in there. Nineteen sixty-eight. Ha. Huh. Ooh, the counterpart! There it is. My counterpart? Well, be honest. How do I look? Presentable? Oh. Now, just put it on my so-called uh, nether regions, <laughs> if you please. Woo! Wait! That's got as much punch as my uncle's moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, his stuff sometimes did make people go blind. And the other thing is a... Better? This fragment thing, Ooh. this antiquity fragment, it feels connected somehow. Try placing it into my counterpart, maybe. Okay. Whoa. Something's got the happening! Jumping Jehoshaphat! No. We're out of this world! Way. And not in the same chassis we left in. As curious as to where and when that fragment took us is how, son. <gasps> Dear God. Oh no. What happened? What happened here? Who did this? I don't know. This moment was meant to be our crown achievement. <laughs> we may not be alone. As much as I appreciate the scenery. I think we should find out why we're here. Locked? Yeah, it's locked. Those metal clamps are fused together. We got more chance of getting frostbite in Hades than we have of cutting through them. Alright. Grab it. Do it quick. Ooh. Haha. <laughs> so that's how we time travel, huh? That's amazing. I love it. Can we do it more? I hope we can. So, we need a tool to... Open up the the hatch. Ah, you're gonna cut your way inside that silver bird. Yes. Let's do it. Ready when you are. Oh, that never gets old. <laughs> oh, look at it, throwing up hellfire. It's working all right. We're in. A wire cutter. What do I need with that? That's anticlimactic. Well, well, well. Aren't we alive? Why? 
there. Relatively speaking, of course. Very specific. Well, open sesame. Knew these things would be good for something. Whoa. Those look old. Two antiquity fragments. Well, ain't this grand? Your grandfather certainly left some red crumbs. Well, after you. Oh, here we go again. To the future! Morty! We're going 88 miles per hour, Morty! What a watch! Take a look at this. That deep green. Oh. So enchanting. So lonely. Oh, this is We're beautiful. in Central America, son. Up here! Ah. What up? Yes, we've been traveling now. Not a sign of any natives to challenge us. And now this incredible temple! It will be my palace! Have you opened the tomb yet? Me? It's likely overflowing with gold! Did he say gold? So, the door. How do we open it? Oh, huh, did you hear that? That's the sound of opportunity knocking. Opportunity in the form of gold and riches. Ooh. It'd be rude not to answer the call. <laughs> Let's get to them doors. Maybe um, we should use the other piece and see if we can travel to a, another part of this place. And see if that works, because I, I don't think I can open it from here. Sounds like we're a pair of Tomb Raiders. Huh. I don't think this is jewelry. Sick. Not my type, anyway. But it does look like it might be worth a few, Bob. Okay, I'm going to take it with me. Hello, how are you? Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> okay, enough. Huh. That civilization Ooh. in ruins. The Mayans. Seemingly erased. I don't recall that from my history books. Where are we gonna put you? <laughs> With my dirty laundry. Here we go. Whee! Okay, listen, this is very interesting. I just traveled to the same moment in time, but I am now the raider we just met on top of the temple. Huh? I'm alone down here. That's interesting, right? This temple, empty. And the land around it, not a soul walking upon it. Quit your belly aching. You're about to become a rich man. Maybe this sounds crazy, but I can travel back in time and then learn from the future and use it in my advantage. I think that's what I'm doing. And instead of having a DeLorean, I have this freaking awesome watch. <laughs> Another piece of the pie. So technically, you can always hold something in your hand and then time travel at the same time. So that's a win-win. So this allows me to panels oh, it's one of those huh wait the tongue that's our uh, main reference point ah close your mouth sir you look ridiculous <laughs> huh it's missing something <laughs> what do you see Filled with the greatest wealth? Well, oh. don't hold back. Where's Tell the me, treasure? What do you see? Well, if this isn't a thorn in my side, I thought we were sitting on a gold mine. Someone was here before us. But he did leave something here. Hold on a minute. Yes. This looks like another fragment. Where is this? Someone's left this. And there you go, my friends. That was a uh, quick first look at what you can expect from Wanderer when you dive into glorious virtual reality. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this. And I, I gotta say, this game brings a breath of fresh air to the PC VR and PlayStation platform that I think was desperately needed. And nowadays, these kinds of titles are so rare. And I want to thank the developers for taking their time to create something this unique. It's truly magical to dive into Wanderer. It's a solid puzzle game that showcases how fun and how immersive VR can be. The main thing that makes this game stand out is the story, because in Wanderer you go on this fantastic journey full of mystery that invites you to keep exploring. The writing is just so good. 
And your sidekick plays a big role too, by the way. Sam the Watch makes the gameplay go full circle and elevates it to a higher level. I mean, let's be honest, the time traveling is just so freaking cool. It works so seamlessly and it's well integrated within the overall you know story and gameplay and on top of that getting to summon uh, sam to help you solve puzzles while doing so is amazing wow it really feels like he's there with you and that's something that is a craft on its own not every developer is able to pull that off but here you can see it work and i think this is due to its well animated movements and witty dialogue and yeah, as I said, the fact that you do need this watch from time to time to be able to proceed. I also love the fact uh, that almost every item you find in a Wanderer can be combined or used for something in a different era. And because of that, the gameplay gets so many deep layers. This makes it seem like everything is possible. And that's what VR should be all about, right? That you can just do whatever you want to do without having the feeling that you are getting restricted by something and that's what Wanderer is able to mask by using some smart uh, tricks. Uh, visually the game looks fine although I am missing some good lighting and shadows here and there especially in the outdoor areas so I hope they are going to uh, work on that. As I said before the sound design is top notch. Give this man or woman a raise because it's so good and it, it's it's playing a big role in the entire uh, game but they do need to make sure that they balance everything out in terms of volume because sometimes it was a bit too loud and sometimes it was a bit too uh, quiet a few other things that i quickly want to throw in here is you can't jump in the game i i hope they are going to uh, make you do it by pressing a button and then you see your character jump from one place to the other right now it just fades to black and then you're on the other side. I do get why they did it because they don't want people to get motion sick but please have options for the VR veterans uh, out there. And last but not least, most importantly, I did not run into any game breaking bugs and that's just so nice because usually when I play a game there's always something in there that just kind of destroys the playthrough. In a nutshell, Wanderer, great game. Uh, it's definitely a must play if you are into puzzle solving and time travel. For an indie team, I am very impressed. I salute you with awesomeness and I'm very curious to see what you are going to create next. I'm hoping that this uh, title will be ported over to the PlayStation VR 2 because I would love to revisit it with those new haptics, with those controllers and all the next level uh, stuff we're going to get with the PSVR 2. So we'll see, time uh, will tell, see what it did there. And um, it takes you around uh, eight to ten hours to finish this game i almost forgot to tell you uh, links are in the description below and with that being said until next time see you in the metaphors and bye bye for now